So this is a thing I have talked about a few times over. Like I've talked about in other videos, but I kind of thought it'd be um, pretty interesting to do like a, I don't know, I guess you could call this a, I guess you could call this a just kind of like, okay guys, hear me out video. It's like one of those type of videos where it's like, okay guys, hear me out. I think it like, it's a solid idea. You just got to follow me. Um, it's, it's like that, you know, it's, um, it's like that. Um, anyway, uh, yeah. So, as you can see from the title, why I think Candyman needs to be in more, in a future Mortal Kombat game, or just Mortal Kombat game in general. Um, we have seen the character of Candyman, um, not really utilized in a lot of video games, let alone fighting games. I do find that fascinating that, like, we haven't really had popular slasher. That's what I find, uh, why I find it weird it has been utilized. You'd think, like, Ed Boon and everyone else would be like, yeah, use this guy, um, because, in a and again, I fully understand, like, rights to a certain rights to a character are a messy and key thing. I'm well aware. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not stupid to them or blind to it. But at the same time, I'm also like, man, this should be easy, right? Like, this should be kind of an, e uh, like, an easy fix, if I'm not mistaken. So, here is, so, yeah. I'm just going to be kind of talking about, like, yeah, why haven't we gotten this yet? makes a lot of sense it would make a lot of sense and also probably be one of the easier characters to get as a guest character in Mor the mortal Kombat games at least that's what i kind of see um so yeah i'm just going to be talking about um i'm just talk uh, talking about like some ideas for um what i'd like to see uh, like how i would utilize it and why i think uh candy man would make a great character for the game series. Now, the character of Daniel Robitaille, um, you may be thinking right out the gate, well, that character doesn't have, like, the best move set. Like, how can you do a move set for a Mortal Kombat game? And also, if you're wondering, just sidebar, um, if you're wondering why I'm thinking of this now, because I saw the anima uh, the uh, new trailer for Chaos uh, Mortal Kombat Chaos Reigns, and I saw the fatality for Ghostface, and I think it's really cool we're doing a... It was like, we're doing multiple Ghostface, and it's a more gorier and graphic kill from... What, uh, yeah, it looks like they're doing a more graphic version of the... It's an homage, a more graphic homage to the multiple stabbing in uh, Scream 6, even though that character survived in Scream 6. And this one was like, nah, we're going to do it again and, and, pro and kill him proper this time. But getting back on point is that that's why I, I like Ghostface got in, but Daniel Robitaille can't. That, you know, Candyman can't make it in. Why can't he? Like, it just feel like... And don't get me wrong, I'm excited, especially to have Roger Jackson voicing Ghostface in the in the game. That's the big draw for me, is to actually have Ghostface uh, voice actor uh, voicing the character. I'm pretty sure he's going to... Like, he's going to be the first... It's pretty obvious he's going to be the first uh, guest character for the game, too. Uh, because, again, as we're getting close to the Halloween season, spooky character, all that. Anyway, I'm getting off topic again. I'm sorry. So what would be the um, Robitaille's uh, move set? I really do see it as like he would be a almost range fighter. I would kind of imagine you know using the bees to his advantage, throwing bees at you, um, grabbing you, and throwing a bunch of bees in your face. Uh, I could also see bees as a teleport. Like he would just go backwards and like a bunch of bees just envelop him, and the swarm disappears, shows up behind you, gets you with the uh, with the uh, hook. That's the other thing, is that I think, you know, uh, Tony Todd, and we'll get to more of him in a second, Tony Todd's got some serious reach to him, as a, 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 so Candyman always had, like, a bit of a, a long reach to him, so you could definitely have, like, a character just, like, reaching out and slashing downward. Um, I could also see, like, some grab moves where you're, like, grabs you, gets you, um, with, in the stomach, or comes up behind you, stabs you in the back, raises you up, and just throws you back on the ground, um, the move sets and like the move set for that character and ideas for it are endless. I also see that like you could probably also have him uh, just vanish like a ghost as he does. That could be the, also the alternate te teleport move if you don't want to use the, use the bees. The bees would just be a cool animation for teleport. 
Um, for fatality, God, could you just imagine like the fatality they could do? Um, one I would definitely like use as an homage kill, where it was the kill to the psychiatrist in, can in the first movie, where he just plunges his hand up his back and just starts uh, like gets him through the back and just starts pulling the hook up and blood and viscera is just spurting out. You could even go one step further with having him like plunge his fit his hook through the guy's chest, through your opponent's chest, hook the bottom of the jaw, rip the jaw out as you're pulling the arm back, and all the guts and like the viscera from the mouth just fall uh, like uh, falls everywhere. The other kill you could do is the one that um, the character himself says like, "I'll split you from your gullet uh, from your uh, gullet to your groin." But we never really saw that in the movies. So I think that'd be kind of cool, like, get someone in the throat, just start, like, pulling down as they're, like, gagging and trying to, like, fight, uh, like, push you off. And you're just seeing all the organs, like, slowly spill out as um, Candyman's, like, going lower and lower. It's all the way down to your abdomen. And all the organs just start spilling out. Um, and even, like, the bees can just, like, as the body is there, you can have little bees, like, all, like, crawling on it uh, here and there. And, yeah, the, uh, now, you got to have Tony Todd play the character. And it would not be hard. Tony Todd, I don't think, is a hard-to-get actor to, for something like this. I really do think Tony, uh, like Todd would be down for it, as well as it wouldn't be hard to get his likeness either. Again, it still boggles my mind that, like, how, how have we not done this already? Like, how have we not, like, gotten the character? I don't know if it's a rest thing, or maybe they just haven't thought of it. But, like, seriously, it's something that needs to be considered in the near future, right? It just, it just feels like something that needs to happen. Um, yeah. Hopefully for the next MK game, we'll get, maybe they'll have him as a guest character. There are others, like we've talked about, like again, a lot of people say Pennywise. And Pennywise is, I'm surprised they, they've been reserved on Pennywise because again, it's Warner Brothers like them. So they, it, I'm surprised they didn't go for Pennywise this time around. Maybe just didn't want to, like I get if they didn't want to use him, but um, Candyman is a character... Um, and you're thinking, oh, it's, an, it's another studio. But yeah, Ghostface is another studio. Jason's legal issues are, are all over the place. Freddy, well, Freddy's under Warner Brothers technically, so they got him easy. Alien and Predator were Fox Studios. Ghostface is Paramount. It would it, So yeah, just make a call to Universal sometime and be like, hey, can we use one of your killers? And Michael? Yes, that'd probably be... Honestly, it probably would be Michael... Um, that way they probably go for, um, but seriously, Candyman, if you want to if, since we're using more characters with audio to them, and who's got better audio than Tony Todd, right? Anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below, what, um, would you want Candyman as a guest character in a future MK game? A and if not, what char what horror character do you want for a future MK horror, uh, like, MK fighting game? Just comment below, let me know. Other than that, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.